What would you do? I, I'd sack them now. Get rid of them. They're going down a rocky, rocky road with this guy. They're <coughs> going to have to need a complete turnaround once again. And forget this, bring, let's throw, oh, let's sack, you know, uh, Louis van Gaal. Let's let Ryan Giggs come in for a little bit. No, if anything, let's get Ryan Giggs out of there. Let's get a, let's <laughs> He's get, been a constant, Let's get a he? brush and make a, a clean sweep of this place. So I would get rid of him. I think clearly he's managing and coaching here on past reputation. The worry I've got or the concern I would have, I don't think Mourinho's a perfect fit for Man United, but I look around and it's looking like Guardiola's going to go to Man City. Ancelotti's going to go to Bayern. Why is he not a perfect fit? Because okay, they want really attacking football. They want somebody who's going to give them a nice global brand. He doesn't quite fit that. He doesn't quite fit, have that have that way about him. But he's a good manager. He's been very successful. And I think there's an air of desperation at Old Trafford. They're looking around thinking, how many guys are out there that we can go and get? Yep. And I'm afraid there's right only four or five, and that includes Marine. So you'd no, bring they, him in? I, I would bring him in because I think they're going to get left behind if they I, don't do it. I mean, we, we've been speaking about it for, for you know on many, many occasions about when the Liverpool job's coming up, what, you know, what's going to happen with that. We were talking, as soon as Klopp came available, I remember you saying it clearly, Craig. Get rid of Mourinho, get Klopp in. Now, it's when these guys are available. When What type of manager is around in the world that the board are going to trust such a massive juggernaut as Manchester United with? And there's not many people around. And Mourinho is probably the best one. And I agree with you. I think that, that watch Manchester United is absolutely dreadful. Yeah. They, they, don't, they, they seem to be mainly this possession football is boring the pants off everybody, especially the Man United fans. And while I get that, and while I understand that, I brought up this point yesterday in the show in talking about, you can bring Mourinho, you can get rid of Van Gaal. Does that change the player personnel that you have available? And so I don't see it as a desperate situation as it was for Chelsea, that I understood why there was a change that needed to be made. However, for Manchester United, even if you bring Mourinho, up until the summer, you're really not going to have availability of players that are really going to be able to change the outcome in terms of results on the field. And it's really going to satisfy what, what Manchester United wants out of this team and out of this club going forward. So well, I get it that... that things are not going well for Manchester United. I get it that they're boring, but I also understand that the players that are available, that's it. That's it. 